Hey, welcome to this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Doing yet another beer that I got on my latest Tavor crate. This one's from Heavy Real Brewing Company, Das Pils, German style Pilsner. And all the can says is 5.7 ABV, and they're out of Seaside Heights, New Jersey. And that's it. Like, this is another one of these breweries that doesn't say anything about their beer on their website. Look, you would think like Beer in the Wild um, cans. Like, this would be about the beers are in the cans. Nope, it just tells you where you can buy them. And, like, right here it says Untapped and Beer Advocate. It looks like this would be, like, a hyperlink that you could click, but it's not. You can't click on anything. So this is the beer on Untapped, and there's no description on here either. So I have no idea what's going on with this one. Well, that's not true. I So I just bring up my, uh, my Tavor listing here. Says, look forward to classic noble hop nuances rippling into subtle hints of jasmine and honeysuckle. Rich notes of baked bread carry through from start to finish before it all accumulates into a cracker crisp finish that'll bring you back over and again. This doesn't really tell me a whole lot. Like, I want to know the malts and the hops and all that. Although, anyway, I'm pouring into the same exact glass these in the, in the picture on Untapped, that hour shaped glass. I don't know the name of this glass. If you know, let me know. And classic Pilsner, kind of a yellow gold, got a slight bit of haze to it, but a lot of carbonation and big foamy head. In fact, a little too aggressive on the pour there, but after the last few minutes, most of it is hanging around. It's got kind of like a soap suds quality. The first thing I noticed is that this has a slight citrusy character to it, which is not really appropriate for a German Pils, so they're probably using like American hops on here. I wish I knew because it doesn't say anywhere, not Untapped, not Tavor, not the website. Actually, a lot of the uh, Italian Pilsners have a aroma similar to this. It's kind of like lemon peel, lemon pith, something like that. I don't think I would call it spicy. It's definitely Pilsner malt-y-ish. Um, <laughs> it's funny, when it's spilled over the side of the, the glass, it has like that just classic just beer smell to it. But when I'm smelling it, I'm getting like a lemony citrus essence and kind of Pilsner. I'm not really getting bread. Maybe like a, like a fresh baked baguette or something. Not nothing like whole wheat or anything. So, let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah. This, to me, is like an Italian pilsner. Not a German pils. German pils would be like way more bitter and have like a spicy kind of peppercorn or rye kind of flavor. This one is like lemon peel. I would not call it, it's not juicy at all, but it's definitely an essence of like lemon. Uh, I would not say pine. I would not say maybe like a hint, hint of like orange peel. I'd probably call it like a kind of a floral hop flavor, almost a little bit of like a perfumey kind of scent. Um, it does not strike me as like, really pilsnery malty it, but it doesn't i'm not i'm not getting like bread off here either maybe i will say it does have a little bit of that familiar spicy cop kind of flavor but it's to me it's taking a back seat to whatever that lemony character is they're probably using like nelson savon or uh maybe some kind of new zealand hop in addition to whatever noble hops they're using or maybe they just dry hopped it, but whatever. I, I So, I mean, I think if they're going for like kind of like an American Pilsner thing, which isn't really a style, which should be. And that's why I would consider this like an American craft lager and not a German Pils. Unfortunately, BJCP doesn't have a American craft lager style. It's got a bit of body to it. I'd probably put it about medium. Yeah, probably about medium. The carbonation for a Pilsner seems a little low. Usually Pilsners are very highly carbonated. This one I'd probably call it like moderately high. So, I mean, it's, you know, spritzy, yeah, but like it doesn't have like that crisp. This one's actually more smooth than crisp. Like smooth is more like, smooth and crisp more like texture, not so much effervescence. Um, I would say it's actually a little refreshing while it's in the mouth. And it finishes with like a little bit of that Again, that lemon peel kind of flavor. Yeah, if I like really pause and like kind of let it simmer or linger on the tongue, I can put like a tiny little bit of like a spicy kind of peppercorn or rye, probably like a rye 
uh, flavor off that. But when I, I like my German pills to be, you know, just a punch in the face or a punch in the tongue of like noble hop bitterness and noble hop flavor. And this one is, you know, really, really low on those spicy hops. I mean, it's enough that I can notice. Um, and But whatever they're using for like that lemony essence is, to me, it's a little distracting. Now, if they had labeled this an Italian Pilsner, I would be like, okay, yeah, I, I've had many Italian Pilsners and this is how they taste. Doesn't even really have like that classic Pilsner malt flavor. Like a great Pilsner is like all you taste is just like, it's like a handful, a mouthful of like actual Pilsner malt. To me, this is... I mean, it's definitely some Pilsner, but I think it's there's probably a little bit of two row in here or something like that. Uh, I'm not getting corn. I'm not getting rice, which which is good, which is fine. Um, but yeah, this is as for a style. This is uh, I would say this is kind of a mediocre example of style as a craft logger. It's pretty good, I will say. Uh, by the way, I guess on Tavor. Link in the description below. Use my code to get $10 off your first purchase. So the score for the DOS pills. Mm, I mean, it's good. It's it's a fine craft beer as a Pilsner. It leaves a lot to be desired. But I'm just, you know, the beer critic in me or the beer judge in me, um, like, wants a little bit more. But the actual beer drinker in me is like, yeah, this is a nice kind of craft lager. So as far as score goes, I'm going to say six out of 10, maybe six and a half. You know, um, if it was more to spec, I would definitely give it a higher score. But I will say like it is, it's tasty, yes. And it's easy to drink. So I mean, those are good, um, you know, those are two good things right there. So um, I'm rambling as I always am. If you watch all the way in, you know you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys for Tuesday Night Beer School. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer reviews. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. Ooh.